Hi, this is Deborah Atkinson, Voice for Fitness, here with a quick fit tip of the day. I have a question I get very often, and it is, which comes first, strength or cardiovascular exercise in my workout, if I'm planning a workout where I'm doing both? The answer, the short answer to that question is, whatever you do second will be hardest. So, it's a personal preference, and here's why I tell the majority of my clients, and I have for 28 years, that I would recommend nine out of 10 times to do cardiovascular exercise first and follow that with strength training. Here's the exception to the rule. If you are a bodybuilder, someone who competes in figure competition, or who only desires and wants to look good naked, standing still, not necessarily to perform, but really is concerned about building muscle, toning muscle, leaning muscle, and not necessarily how good your heart is working within it, although that also may be healthy, then your priority is strength training, worrying all about maintaining the muscle, building the muscle, and what the muscle underneath your skin looks like because that's gonna really determine your shape and that's what you'll be judged for if you're in competition or if that simply is what's important to you. And no judgment, nothing is wrong with that. The majority of us, really if you think about heart surgery patients afterward, they come in and they say, let's get up, we're gonna go for a walk. They don't come in and hand you a pair of dumbbells. So that should be a tip to the rest of us trying to avoid heart surgery in the first place, what's most important. So you wanna make sure you're getting cardiovascular exercise in at least three times a week and get your strength training in at least twice a week. So there may be days when you double up and do both. Recommend to you that you try it one way and then try it the other way and see which way you enjoy more or for some people hate less because doing your cardiovascular exercise after strength training will change the rules. Your legs will feel heavier if you're, nine times out of 10, our cardiovascular exercise involves our legs. Or if you're swimming and you've done upper body strength training, that will also feel very much more challenging. So you may swim or run or bike slower or have more exertion and a higher heart rate at the same weight and same level, same resistance, same incline. So think about those things and let that be okay. You're still working as hard if you're using heart rate as your training tool. But give it a try, see which one you like better and which one you're most likely to continue and repeat, because that's the key to fitness of any kind, is sticking with it. So which one will you enjoy most or at least tolerate the best? Good luck with your exercise program.